Chapter Part Eight. Um, so, last we left off, uh, we had a little bit of a creepy moment, and I have no med kits. Um, but oh, no, no, no! Ah, uh, almost killing the grenade. At least he's honest. Die, die, die. Die, die. Die more. Yeah, that's what I thought. What up? Ah, oh, they ain't checking anything. Why would you think that was a good idea? Oh. Why would you run at me? <laughs> Whatever. I'm actually quite thankful for these soldiers. They are... They are quite... Where's the door? Or a med kit. I'll take either. Either or. You know, whatever. Watcha! Watcha! No? Nothing? Okay, then. Anyways, I... Guess I jumped out here? Oh, this is gonna hurt. I don't have any med kits. I don't want to do this. Eh! Okay. Oh, alright then. Well then, it takes me to the next part. I had that habit, apparently, of stopping a video right before I transition to another area, but I have no way of knowing since I never play this game, so I do apologize for that. But, the situation. Fear Operative has successfully infiltrated Armcham Headquarters building. SFODD escort neutralized in ambush. No one was surprised. Additional U.S. Force Special Forces assets have been scrambled. They will not get here in time. Efforts to establish negotiations with hostile forces have been unsuccessful. I don't know. I I beg to differ. My bullets are successfully negotiating with their faces. The mission is to uh, initiate. Uh, initial objective will be to get to the company network online so that Fear Coordinator can access the system. Fear Operative will then proceed to last known location of SF ODD reconnaissance team. All right, let's do it. Also, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for um, sticking with me. I do apologize for the sound quality. I need you to find the server hub and reset it so I can get into the system. It should give us a better idea of what's going on in there. Uh, violence and blood. Lots of that's going on in here. As noted by the window of blood. But again, as I was saying, uh, I do appreciate your sticking with me on this. Um, I am working through the kinks. Again, this is my first series. So the audio quality and quality in my first few videos was subpar at best. Uh, I am working on that. I'm trying new things. Um, to, to better record for you all. Um, so hopefully going forward, you know, things will only get better. Okay, I hit when you do that. <clears throat> Ooh, space. Space. Wait, what's, what's play? Oh, okay. Hey-ya! That did not work. Oh, you had a bad day. Huh. What? What? What happened? I... I heard stuff happen, but I didn't see it happen. Okay. That door's locked. I guess I'm going this way. What? No. Stop. Stop. Can I go back this way? Can I try that again? Can, can this door open, please? I'd much prefer to go this way now. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, open! 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 <laughs> uh, I really don't like... I don't like this. <laughs> Creepy kid's gonna come out and eat me. It's gonna eat my face off. Wapra! This is the only reason that you should ever jump melee is to kick open windows. Like this. Can I get water? No. Okay. Okay. Stay out of my way. Oh. 
who's way? Who was that? It's like a who's that Pokemon? Who's that creepy guy? Okay. The data's uploading now. There's a reference to something called Icarus. Icarus. It says here that it was a bioengineering program that started in 1973. Something about health issues related to microgravity. Loss of muscle mass, bone density, shit like that. You know, I'm always curious, why does everything keep referring to, like, their special pro pro programs and such as Icarus? It's like they didn't actually ever read the or listen to the story of Icarus and how that was actually a complete failure and somebody died. And for those of you who don't know, the uh, TLDR of it is um, man and son want to fly, uh, son builds wings, flies towards the sun, sun too hot, melts, melts wings, sun crashes and burns. In the most epic original story ever. Uh, it's an old story. I don't want to say from who because... <laughs> Screw you, time! I don't have time for you. I don't remember I think if it was Greek or Roman. I'm pretty sure it was Greek. Um, or if it was older than that story. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the same guy who, uh, in, who uh, created the labyrinth. But um, I could be wrong about that too. No. 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 Or he was... Oh, I think he was just trying to point me to this medkit. Thank you. Sorry that I shot your dead body. Ooh, grenade. Or not. Why would I ever use that? Oh, I missed the phone. Like, I stare right at the phone. And then it was like, yeah, there's a red flashing light for the phone. I should get that. And then I ignored it. One new message. First message from an outside number. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It's Carl at Hudson Sup, Avionics. Carl. Where is everybody? I can't reach anyone over there. Oh, I that's cool. Right about this draft he sent over, but he hasn't returned my call. It's really important he gets back Ooh. to me as Carla, sorry to tell you, Brett's not going to get back to you anytime soon. Pretty sure that was Brett. Also, I really like these physics. As you saw, I like the like the ability to actually play with the picture. Like, that's cool. It's it's one of those simple things that just assists in the immer immersion. Pump. And also like punching that. Gee, I wonder if I'm going to have to fight something in here. Oh, well, apparently I'm locked in here. That's right, ghosties. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. <laughs> to quote something everyone knows. Bang, bang, bang. Holy sh... Oh, okay, that's actually a bad guy. That's not a sneaky guy. He punched me in the face, though. I'm not okay with that. Alright, cool. We're gonna play this game. Homie's gonna pull out the big gun. Oh, yeah, didn't like that too much, did you, mister? I'm gonna sneak around like a ponce. Stupid ninjas. I think it was gonna be ninjas. Like, aren't they supposed to be clones of themselves? Saw you! Oh, good. More of you. Come on. Oh. Owned. Heal some more. Alright, there he goes. Does he come up the stairs or are you going to jump? He's going to jump. Can't stop me. This is Charles we're talking about. Charles don't play games. Charles gets sh done. Pop. 
Charles does not like fighting the sneaky ninjas though, because they hurt. Charles also doesn't believe in using doors. Charles walks in through the window. Medkit. Like some body armor too, if possible. You have three new messages. Wow, really? First message from Chuck Haber. <laughs> Chuck Haber. I've analyzed the readings and I'm recommending we suspend Perseus so we can figure out what's causing the synchronization. The patterns are identical to what we saw last time. Uh huh. But obviously the consequences would be a hell of a lot worse. Next. That was such a like an American. Chuck Haber. <laughs> This time we're talking about a highly trained military commander with a telepathic link to hundreds of soldiers that don't think for themselves. If you're worried about being behind schedule now, imagine what will happen if we end up with a full scale revolt. I see Chuck knew this was coming. Marshal Dismer. Hi, it's Marshal. Just got off the phone with Chuck Hatbegger. Link worried about his findings. He said he talked to you about suspending the program temporarily. I've got to agree. There's even the slightest chance of another synchronicity event we've got to take it seriously. I'm gonna head over to the Perseus compound and check things out myself. If you call to my cell, let's discuss this. End of Okay, so they clearly like it sounds like they knew this was going to hap this is there was a possibility of what's happening well, happening and they attempted to stop it but couldn't and it sounds like they had Fettel for a while because they mentioned Fettel as a child was that a sneaky guy or was that a a creepy guy. I can't tell the way they keep giving me these med kits. Uh, there was another way I missed it back this way that I'm going to go see first just to make sure there was nothing like enhanced health or reflexes. Let's also make sure all my guns are reloaded. I should probably pick up a different gun though. 15 bullets is not going to get me very far. However, oh, these guys decide they are too cool for guns. Stupid bitches. Give me the shotgun. Well, that was a waste. Oh, hey. Shotgun ammo. Apparently that was just, you know, a way of telling you, hey, you're going to want to pull out your shotgun. I was not actually expecting that to open. And there's nothing in here. Okay then. Breaking all the things. That's a bad habit of mine when I'm playing video games. If it's breakable, I break it. Tra la la. Hiya. Alright, let's go this way for reals now. Oh hey, there we go. Speak of the devil. He shall provide. Hello? Creepy ninja guys? Oh no, they left their computer on. Let me help them. This looks almost like I can get up here. Hmm. Well, that's good. That's a lot good. I don't like blood. Okay. Okay. Let's 
just pin me in the corner and beat. Oh god, damn it! Hey guys, want to not do that again? Did I even kill either of them? I don't have time for your time. Alright, he's uploading. Looks like the Icarus program got shut down in favor of something called Perseus, which from what I can tell is funded by DOD. I'm guessing that's where Fennel and his soldiers came from. Okay. That's cool, I guess. There's a area to go up, but oh, health kit. Don't get me wrong, I have no qualms with saying yes to health. Don't shoot! My name is Norton Mapes. I I'm an engineer. Shit, it's a civilian. Give him a comm link. Yeah, okay. Hello? Who are you people? The good guys. Are you alright? Oh, sure. I'm having a hell of a time. Yeah. You said you're an engineer? Can you help me get into the network? What am I, an IS lackey? I'll tell you what, you disable the local security system, and I'll see what I can do about the server. I can disable it remotely once I'm logged in. No, you can't. It's on a separate network. Well then. Okay, what about the ninja guys? Alright, that's all the time I have for this episode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get in this room, and hopefully that's a save shift spot. Let's back that away. Why do you want us to bring down the security system anyway? Never mind why. You want my help, that's the price. I'll just wait here. Clearly he's eating a bag of blaze. Anyways, yep, there's the checkpoint. Alright, so that's all the time I have for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in part 9 of here, and I will see you when I see you. Bye bye